Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. This one we're using Photoshop CC 2018, and I'm going to show you how to bend, warp, or distort any object inside Photoshop. This is a very, very commonly used fe uh, uh, feature, and I'm going to show you how to use it using a sword. So I've selected a sword just because we've got a nice little straight sword, but you know, some different nationality, some countries use, you know, curves in their swords and stuff like that. So why not? This makes sense to go with this. So let's just start this bad boy off. First thing you want to do, you want to convert this into a smart object. You want to right click or double right click if you're on a Mac and convert to smart object. There we go. Now make sure the layer is selected. Head on over to edit and then drop down to puppet warp. That's right guys, we're turning this into a puppet. When you do that, you see that it has created a mesh. Now, this is kind of cool, but what we're going to start doing now is we're going to start putting pins in on this um, sword, and we're going to start to bend it. So, uh, one of the things I like to do is I take the expansion off. The expansion basically means it's expanding the mesh just a, about two pixels, well, exactly two pixels, beyond the boundaries. That doesn't really, I don't think you really need to do that, so... I'm just going to go to zero, but again, it's not a huge deal. Um, the next thing we want to do is when you click on it, you're going to see that we have this little pin tool with the plus there. That means we're going to start creating pins, and this will make more sense as I go here. So let's just create a pin on the, um, on the pommel. I'm going to create a pin right here. I'll create a pin in the middle. I'll create a pin right here, and I'll create a pin at the end. And so we've got five different pins now. When I hover over, let's say, this middle pin, you'll see that it's at the plus. That means it's going to add a pin. But when I get close to it, it's going to allow me to start the distortion. So if I want to put a bend in the sword, watch. I start pulling it down a little bit. All of a sudden, this sword has a bend. But, you know, the bend isn't perfect, so I'll add another pin. Left click here, and then I'll pull it down a bit. And we've got another bend. And this one here, maybe we'll pull this one down a bit, too and we've got a slight bend in it. So this is how you start using Puppet Warp. Now, there are a whole bunch of other cool things you can do, like you can add in, like you could take this one here, and you could even like double back, so like it, it like doubles back on itself. Um, yeah, let me show you how to do that actually. So I'm gonna pin it up to here, and then let's add a pin here, and yeah, I mean, really crazy stuff, guys. I'm gonna Command Z out of that. But um, guys, th this this is an awesome tool. You can do all sorts of cool things to it. Let's just go ahead and reset this because I don't want to. I'm just going to go ahead and reset it. So let's try again and let's start pinning it a little differently. So I'm going to show you a couple other things with the puppet warp tool. So I'll just cup, make a couple quick warps, a couple pins. I mean, other things you guys can do is you can set the density of the mesh. Now, right now I've got it on normal, but you can have it on fewer points, or you could have it on more points. I kind of just usually keep it on normal, but again, go nuts. You can also turn the mesh off. Now, this is really, really cool. So if the mesh is off, so you're not getting sort of distracted. So if I added a pin here and I pull on it, you're still seeing like the end product. I'll put a pin here, pull a little on that one, put a pin here, pull a little down, put a pin here, pull it down. So you're seeing exactly what's happening without all that mesh there. The mesh is just basically what's going on in the background. So this is how you use it. Another thing you can do is you can change the mode on the Puppet Warp tool. Let's just go ahead and reset again. And now we're going to change the mode from normal to distort. So you can start making some wild changes with this. So if I just did a change, whoa, nope, never mind. Cancel that. Um, and we hover over like this. Let's, oh, that's not a good pin. Pin, okay, let's go to... Come on, Curtis, here we go. So if I start pulling on that, look at that. That's cool. So we've got like this crazy big pommel. Um, I think that's the word. And then we're distorting it like this. Whoa, guys, crazy, right? But anyways, my point is, is you can make all sorts of crazy changes using the different modes, the different pin placements, and all sorts of stuff, guys. So anyways, that's just a quick tutorial on how to make and bend and warp and distort things inside Photoshop CC. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be back more with some more stuff shortly. Thanks for watching.